Hey, this is Rich Formidoni from Korg, and today I'm going to show you how to use external control mode on the M50. The M50 is great on its own, but it also works extremely well as part of a computer-based recording setup. And if you're using any popular soft synths or DAWs, chances are the M50 already speaks their language. So let's check it out. So when you're using your M50 with the computer, say you're writing music using a DAW or something like that, chances are you'll want to have it in sequence mode. Now we've already pushed the external button over here on the control surface, so it's time to dig in and see what those knobs and buttons are doing. So what I'm going to do is push the page select button, and then select the second button over here, play slash record control. Then on the bottom, there's a control surface tab. So this demystifies what's going on with the knobs. Now, if you notice, there's a little setup right here with an arrow right next to it. And right now it says KLC M1. That stands for Korg Legacy Collection M1. So if you have our M1 plugin software, you can control it using these knobs. Now what I'm going to do is touch that arrow, and let's say you're using Cubase. I'm just going to scroll over, and you can see there are tons of different soft synths and DAWs built in. So there's a couple different templates for each one, and there's Cubase. So I'm going to select Cubase Audio Level. Now, these knobs are controlling audio level for the first four tracks. Now if I push the external button again over by the control surface, now I'm using the second four tracks. Same knobs, just controlling different functions. So there are a hundred templates built in, and at the same time it's doing this, it's still an M50. You can still play the sounds, and uh, it's still doing everything it needs to do. It just, it just so happens that the knobs and chord triggers are now performing useful functions for your software. Just so you know, when you're looking at the screen, you see MIDI messages, but you only see numbers, not the actual function that the knobs are performing. The M50 and the M3 both ship with documentation that tells you exactly what every function is for every controller. And when it's applicable, we include preference files that you might need for the software that you're working with. Now, let's say your software isn't actually in this list of templates and you want to create your own. It's very easy. The first thing you do is go to global mode by pushing the global button to the right of the display. Now, press the page select button and then touch MIDI on the display. Now, you see these two tabs on the bottom, EXT1 and EXT2? That's where we're going. Now, again, the word setup is here with an arrow right next to it. What we want to do is touch that arrow and scroll over to one of these empty external sets. Touch one of those and this is what we're going to turn into your own customized template. So all you need to do is select a MIDI channel and a control change message that you want to, that you want to specify for that particular knob. And remember, each knob has two different functions depending on how many times you press the external button over here. So you can set them to do two different things. Then, if you go to the external 2 tab, you can set parameters for the four chord triggers. So each one of those can have a separate MIDI channel, note, or CC message. So you can actually have these playing notes or doing MIDI control. And you can set them to a fixed velocity if they're playing a note. So once you're finished tweaking your external setup, all you need to do is touch the drop-down menu in the upper right-hand corner of the display. And from there, you can rename it. And once you're done, you can write the global setting. The external control templates are saved as part of the global setting, so every time you turn the keyboard back on, you'll have that template ready to go. Thanks for watching.